Hello again. Well, I've got a Samsung vacuum. Is this the first Samsung? I'm not sure. I think there was, yes, I think it could well be. This might be the first Samsung I've unboxed on my channel, but it's not the first time I've unboxed this because this is one of two vacuums I unboxed ages ago and somehow the footage got lost or was recorded on the wrong format anyway. So I'm going to have to pretend I'm opening this um, with fresh new eyes, so I'll be, oh gosh, look at that. <laughs> but I, I have opened it, but it's quite a while ago. So um, it'll be like opening it uh, from new all over again, apart from the fact I've already cut the box open. So this is a Samsung QuietJet high-powered upright vacuum. What's the model number of this? Um, it's a VCU313 and uh, it's made in Korea. Let's have a look then. I have a feeling, I don't know, I think Samsung, this generation of Samsung has some connection with Bissell. Whether they made some Bissell cleaners, Bissell uprights, I'm not sure. Or if it was the other way round. I mean, if this was made in Korea, I don't know if um, some of the Bissells used to be made in Korea. Comment below if you know if there's a connection. I think there is a connection between Samsung and Bissell, or at least there was. So we have the operating instructions, blah, blah, blah. Now I did source some more bags for this and I've also got some more belts as well. Now, I don't think they were the genuine ones, but they were easy to get hold of. Right, uh, this will need some assembly. So we have a black plastic handle with a warning, risk of electric shock, I expect. Yes, to reduce the risk of electric shock, do not use outdoors on wet surfaces. I won't. I won't use this outdoors. Don't worry, Samsung. I think the hose is attached. So, I think it's just a case. Let's just take the hose out of the way. Pop the machine upright. Oh. Take out the old wand. You lie back down there a minute. You'll be out of there soon enough. And it says on the top here, removable crevice tool. Ah, so there we go. Is that the right way? Yes, it must be. It's a bit, bit tight. So got a crevice tool. It's got suction bleed holes look to keep the suction flowing even when you've got the end blocked. So probably to prevent any overheating that could occur. It's probably got a suction um, relief valve in the machine, I can't remember. Let's lift it out. The cable, and I think, I think that's everything, isn't it? So, now I didn't know the color of this, uh, when I bought it and I did search this machine online and I think it I don't think it came out this color now again it's a quirk of the camera and I'm not really sure what color you're seeing but what I can see on my viewfinder is more of a blue color but it is purple so when it's uh, rendered on YouTube We'll have to see what the final video looks like, but I can assure you it's purple. In fact, let's have a look. Yes, it more or less, it more or less matches, sort of, nearly. You know, it's quite, no, it is a bit different. I've got purple striped socks on, look. And these were the nearest I could get to the colour. But yes, you see the toe of my <coughs> socks? They, they do more or less match this, nearly. But they don't look like they match on the... It's odd, isn't it? I wonder why that happens. Do you know? Any of you who uh, know about photography and filming, why would a purple look blue? I've noticed it on Dyson's as well, they've got that purple colour in. So, very cheap. It does feel like a Bissell. I'm pretty sure it's got some connection with Bissell. Yeah, there's, uh, yes, that was odd. I did put everything back how it was. This bag was actually on here at this end. So I'm gonna have to remove it from the ho hose but it's just a standard flexi hose on this it's not a stretch hose so there's absolutely no chance of that going up 
a standard flight of stairs. There's a tiny bit of stretching, but not much. It is very Bissell-esque, if that's a word. I'm sure I've had a Bissell with a, a handle like that. There is another tool, and it's one of those horrible, eek, yuck. One of these, look. But it's a V-shape. Ridiculous shape for nozzle, that. So one side we have a dusting brush, pretty hard brushes though, wouldn't want to use that on anything delicate. And this side is for your upholstery, two litter pickers. And I believe, yes, that swivels, look. Can you see there? Hold it to the light, there we go. And see when I swivel it, can you see it opening up? So now it's, uh, it's open on the dusting brush side, so if I was to connect the hose I could use it as a dusting brush and I'd have to rotate it that way to use it as an upholstery nozzle horrible horrible things these multi-tools are and that's that's one of the worst that and uh, the one Hoover used to supply the sort of the, it was shaped like a teacup that was pretty bad the only decent I think multi-tool is the Electrolux the classic butterfly tool, that was pretty good. Hang on, I think it was brushes out, I don't know. Yes, I think, or was it? No, it wasn't, it was this way. That, was that it? Oh well, I think that's how it was. Right then folks, probably quite a short mains lead on this, I, I suspect. This would have been budget budget. I expect Argos would have sold this machine. I'm thinking around £50. I'm not sure the date of this. I would suggest possibly 90s. And I think this only cost me about £18, if I remember. I know it wasn't a lot. And I can't, oops, I can't remember what I bid on this, my highest bid was, but it wasn't much. I thought, well, it wasn't a vacuum I ever remembered. But as you know, I'm a sucker for anything that's new in box. If it's a few years old, even though it's not, you know, it's not, it's not even vintage. It's not even classic. It's very box standard, but it's still a vacuum and it's something interesting anyway. I'm interested in it. And if you're still watching, you may be. You'll want to see it on and everything, won't you? Right. Let's hope that I, um, <laughs> what did I do? Oh, what did I do with the screws? Because I don't know where they are. Unless I put them inside. I, wouldn't, I don't think I would have done. Hmm. I'm going to have to look in the box. I'm sure it has. It would need a screw. It's not... Yeah, I didn't put it in the screw hole. Anyway, that uh, handle just slides on, I think. That's it. I'll be able to do a quick demo of this without the screw if I can't find it. I'm sure I probably came across the screw one day and thought, what's that for? And binned it. I'll just check inside the holes. If I can see, no. Okay, never mind. We'll have a look in the, uh, we'll have a look in the old box in a minute. It could have worked its way loose. I think the hose just fits on this uh, top hook here. Hooks over like that. A, yes, there we go, sort of, that's it, yeah. And then this end of the hose goes in to the little bit at the bottom. It's got a see-through part as well that connects to the, the head in case there's a blockage. You'll be able to see that, unless it's further down, of course, and then you wouldn't see it. Let's just, uh, which way does that? I don't want the handle. I don't know if the handle sticks out at the side. There we go. Nearly there, just adjust it. Try and make it look neat, but this type of <laughs> this type of hose looks very neat. It always looks like it's just been tacked on at the end. Not very attractive. The way they've put that on there is it. As you can see, there we are. There's the hose. It's okay. Panic over. I found the screw, and surprisingly, it's still in its packet. So. I probably didn't demonstrate it when I initially unboxed it, but I do plan to put some dirt down in this video and give it a go before I store it again. Just to, because I'm interested to see how it performs. 
Um, so I best put that on actually. I won't do it on camera, so I've just got one single screw that uh, fits in the hole here above what looks like the carry handle at the back. That's a nice position for it. Feels quite sturdy because it's molded in. It's not actually sort of bolted on or screwed on, so that should remain intact. And then on the other side here, we can store the old wand and the crevice tool. That fits in there, and then it just uh, goes into that. Ooh. I bet uh, I bet parts like this used to break off on these because it felt just doing it the first time. It just felt like ooh, that's going to snap there. Right. Well, I've got the machine on my knee. We've got this exhaust filter, obviously not HEPA. No energy label on this, obviously it's too old. So we don't know how it would have been for dust emissions or anything. Oh, but I don't think it would have been very good somehow. But you have a, a dual layer filter. There's a black layer and a white layer. So obviously that is the exhaust vent for this Samsung Quiet Jet. And uh, I seem to remember spoiler alert quiet was a little bit misleading <laughs> for this cleaner there we are that's that so there will be a obviously oops there will be a pre-motor filter as well located somewhere in the dust bag compartment so i think we just have to pull the bag door off there's no catch or anything it feels it feels you know for it feels quite sturdy it does feel slightly better than some of the cheaper plastic vacs. You've got a nice bit of a seal all the way around. Is there any sort of date code on here? It says, no, just, there's a few numbers and it says cover dust, ABS, no, no date wheel. And here's a genuine bag. As I said, I bought some other bags that uh, were supposed to fit this because I don't really want to use the genuine bag. In fact, the ones I've got, I don't think they look anything like this, but anyway, I'll have to have a look. They were sold as being for this machine. These are type VPU100, uh, non-reusable throwaway dust bag. And they say that's the line, maximum fill line there. Yep. Yeah. So, pretty standard, isn't it, in here? There's your pre-motor filter, and again it's a black, not sure if it's an odour reducing one. I won't take it out of the grill, but it fits in that grill. I'll give it a sniff, and it could be, could be a carbon filter. Mm -hmm. Be surprised at this sort of price point. As I said, this is definitely, definitely budget. That just slides in. I think it goes, which way does it go? I don't think it matters. No, nope, that's in, it doesn't click or anything. And the bag is just a push fit. I don't like bags that you just push on. I prefer to have some sort of a catch that holds the bag on because obviously when it inflates, I think the bag door will keep it from um, actually coming away from the fill tube, but it can happen. And then you're left with a right old mess inside your machine. Yeah, it feels quite. When you close that, it's got a nice sort of a dull thud about it. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. You've got storage hooks on the side here, look. There's a fixed one there at the bottom and a swivel one at the top. There you go, can you see that? A swivel hook to store, a very short cable. It comes out, comes out uh, horizontally from the machine, a little bit of cable protector. So I'll loosely wrap the cable around. The cable is quite thin, but it feels, feels reasonable. It feels reasonable quality. There we are. Oh. I would guesstimate that this is about six meters, this cable. Nothing to secure it at the end, no clip, but you've got a nice molded on plug. Let's have a look on the, uh, on the underside of the Samsung. Well, before I look on the underside, Let's just have a look at the uh, the cleaner head, the top part of the cleaner head here. So here's the head of the cleaner. You can see it with the reflection of the lights. 
It's got a 1300 watt power brush, it says. Well, basically a 1300 watt motor because it'll only have one motor in this and uh, obviously belt driven agitator. It's not a twin motored cleaner. And according to this, it's got edge cleaning on both sides. And in the middle, we've got the dial with a seven position height control. So on uh, setting one, that's for your low pile and then setting two, three, four, five, six, and seven for your high pile. And I suspect they say to put it on setting seven when using the cleaning tools. So looking underneath this Samsung QuietJet, we got two wheels here that are connected to this plate that obviously moves up and down according to the height on the dial. And you've got, well, these little rubber teeth things very reminiscent of some hoover and maytag uprights have those they look like they could be replaced if parts are still available for this i doubt it and quite an aggressive brush roll nice stiff brushes obviously here is where the belt is it does look yeah it does remind me of bissell it reminds me of some cheaper hoovers it reminds me of the hoover tempo a bit but if it cleans as well as the tempo i think this is probably available in the usa but yeah this would have been sort of a, a, a direct sort of competitor i would say to a hoover tempo it's very reminiscent of the tempo that i have which you may or may not have seen yet because i do have an american hoover tempo but yes good stiff brushes it's obviously going to leave a, a big line of shame here where the belt guard is and possibly some other lines of shame where we've got these strengthening bars on the nozzle plate right finally before i put some dirt down we'll have a look at the rating sticker and we'll see if we can date this cleaner so it's the samsung model vcu313 and it's a serial number 81 fw 100 238T P Nor 1100 watts P Max 1300 watts and there you go made in Korea and it's double insulated well as usual I'm not very organized so I can't find the bags I bought for this cleaner but it was several months ago that I originally unboxed this so they've got lost somewhere I've got them somewhere but who knows where but I thought why not try the good old standby bag, the Hoover H18. These seem to fit an awful lot of vintage and newer cleaners. Now, obviously, it's huge compared to the original Samsung bag. And if we hold it up to the Samsung bag, we can see that it's about double the width and it's a little bit longer, but it will fit in as long as, this is the most important part, as long as that fits tightly on the bag uh, hole here whatever that thing's called um, it'll be fine and initially it does look like this is a lot smaller but I think it will fit and as long as it fits tightly I might as well use it well yes it's a nice it's a nice tight fit that's not going anywhere that's a nice snug fit so there's a tip for you if you can't find Samsung bags Try the Hoover H18. It's a shame they don't fit my uh, Maytag satellite. But what I'll have to do, of course, is sort of <laughs> fold it up. It's not going to be ideal. But just because I didn't want to use the original bag in this, um, hopefully it'll be okay. No, I think I'll try and fold it a little bit better than I'm doing. I'll fold it, I'll fold it outwards like that. It should still inflate, there we go, and then just fold that up. It'll be good enough for the quick demo I'm going to do. Just as I said, I don't want to use the one original bag that came with this cleaner. There we are, I've screwed the handle on, so that's all fine. And the only other thing to show you before I put some muck down is the on off switch. It's located low down here. So obviously very budget because they couldn't be bothered to put the switch at thumb height, which would have involved a little bit more electrical connections up the handle. So they've kept it down here to make it even cheaper. They could have put an on off switch on the base, I suppose. And while we're on the base, there you go. There's the 
handle release to lower the machine to the operating position. It's, oh, that's hard to push. <laughs> that's very hard to push. I've not even turned the thing on. And of course you can press it again and lower it a bit further for cleaning under furniture. Right, Samsung Quiet Jet. I think jet may be correct. I think you're going to be as noisy as a jet. I don't think you're going to be quiet. But let's see if you pick up some bag of filth. Okay, before I put any dirt down, I might as well uh, run this Samsung Quiet Jet around the carpet a bit just to see how quiet it really is. From what I remember, it's not quiet at all. <laughs> a laugh don't you Samsung quiet in fact I remembered this time to get my decibel meter that was kindly bought for me David mr. shrink David bought me that so uh, when I remember I do use it just going to see how noisy this actually is I'd say it's over 80 decibels definitely over 80 this wouldn't certainly wouldn't be able to be sold nowadays with 1300 watt motor and being as noisy as this. So let's see how noisy it is according to the decibel meter. So when I'm not talking, the background decibel level was about 35. It's gone, gone up to over 60 and I'm not really shouting. If I uh, stop talking. So there we go. The background noise is about 35 decibels, which is very quiet. Okay, well, Let's see how loud this is now. I'm going to, oh, it's going to be awkward. I've got to bend down to turn it on. Try and get the uh, image in. There we are. I think that peaked at about 85 decibels, but it was certainly over 80. So if Samsung thinks that's quiet, well, they've got another thing coming. Finally, I'll just see what the suction's like at the hose end. Well, I certainly can't fault the tool suction. That's very good, but of course that is with an empty bag and with an empty fleece bag at that. Okay, without any further ado, let's put down some dirt. Well, not bad, not bad at all for two passes and considering there is a lot of muck down here. It's pretty, pretty thick with debris. And it's always leaves, this has got loose leaf tea in it, this mess, this bag of filth. And it always seems to be the black or very dark brown colored loose leaf tea that I can always spot on this pale carpet that two passes don't remove. I've got it on setting three because it's very difficult to push on the lower settings for some reason. I'm going to go over once more back and forth again on setting three just to see if we can pick any more up. It's surprising it did leave a very slight line of shame. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's just along here. We'll try it again and I did move it slightly as I pulled it back so didn't do that deliberate. <laughs> I'll do some close-ups um, shortly but I could see it was actually pulling in the debris from the sides so it has got pretty good suction um, and also we'll zoom in and see what the agitation's like I could see some of these particles bouncing up it's still again another couple of passes and there's still some of the loose leaf tea 
I might have to lower the nozzle to setting two to get rid of that. Well, might as well clear up the rest of this. Well, this Samsung has certainly picked everything up. I'm kneeling on the part of the carpet that was absolutely covered a few minutes ago. And the suction is still pretty strong. I did check the tool suction, even after picking up all that dirt, and uh, it still feels very strong. <laughs> can't really detect much of a difference between that and when the bag was empty so these are very good bags I would recommend them the H18 fleecy bags so yeah it uh, does fit I think it's retained most of the dust as well just finally to finish this video because I've got a little bit of a pile of dirt that escaped the demo I'll suck that up using the hose. Well, I think that's all you're going to see of this uh, Samsung Quiet Jet. I'm sorry if you had to adjust the volume because you could hardly hear it. It is so very quiet, isn't it? It's unbearably quiet. In fact, it's so, so quiet, my ears are ringing from that short demo. Quiet Jet. Honestly. It's not quiet and it's not very nice to use either. But it did a good job and the suction's still strong. So yeah, as far as carpet cleaning, it's pretty good. I don't think it'd be very good on hard floors. And the tool suction's pretty good, but of course it won't reach up the stairs because the hose is far too short. But anyway, I think it was 18 pounds it cost me, something like that. I didn't spend a fortune on it, but it was worth having a look at. Pretty impressive in some ways, but pretty appalling in others. If you have any comments or questions about this, comment below. And if uh, you can tell me any history, is it related to Bissell? Because it is very Bissell-esque. It really is. So I don't know if Samsung made Bissell cleaners or it was the other way around for time, but I don't know if there's any connection now between the companies. But there you go. My first Samsung, well, tell a lie there was another Samsung video on my channel but I, I think that's a QVC demonstration it's not one of mine thanks for watching thumb up subscribe and I'll see you all very soon bye for now